here we have a word problem, or really two word problems, uh, that are going to require us to do some multiplication or division, and then also to think really carefully about what's going on to know whether it makes sense to give the answer as a positive number or a negative number. Uh, the notes they give us here is that the change, which is what the answer is going to be, is some kind of change, can be an increase or a decrease. And if it's an increase, use a positive number. If it's a decrease, use a negative number. Let's look at this first one. It says a tram moved upward five meters per second for 50 seconds. What was the total change in the tram's elevation? All right, right off the bat, I think this is going to be a positive answer because it's moving upward. So the change is going to be positive. It's going to be higher at the end. That's an increase in elevation. And it went up five meters every second per second for 50 seconds. So I think that means I have to multiply five times 50. And 5 times 50 is 250. So this is going to be a positive 250 meters. Let's look at B. It says, in a lab, a substance was cooled by 36 degrees Celsius over a period of six hours at a constant rate. What was the change in temperature each hour? Hmm. So it, I think the temperature is going down here. So our change is going to be a decrease. So it's going to be a negative number. So I'm going to put a negative sign out here. And then it cooled a total of 36 degrees over six hours. And they want to know how many degrees it cooled per hour. That requires division. So we have to take 36 and divide it by the number of hours, which is six. That's pretty easy. That's six degrees per hour. But since it's cooling, it's going down six degrees per hour. The change then would be a negative six degrees Celsius each hour. So that is some work with uh, word problems involving multiplication and division of integers.